reasons why. Well, Patrick knew this morning the National Weather Service has issued a wind advisory for our area starting at noon today and going until 8 o'clock in the evening. That's for the potential for some gusts to 50 miles per hour. And well, now that the trees are bare, we don't expect that to cause significant issues. Can't rule out a few isolated power outages or some wind damage. So heads up for that. I think the thing you'll notice more with the winds is the wind chill that they create. So looking at our radar this morning, some showers offshore. Those will be moving farther away. We're dry during the day today, but giving us that medium threat tracker with the west winds to 50 miles per hour wind chills in the teens and also on the lookout for some patches of black ice. Thursday's threat tracker should be in the yellow as well. Light snow in the morning, especially closer to the coastline. Could see as much as a dusting to an inch of snow. Not a big system, but enough to maybe cause some slippery travel early tomorrow. Outside right now, we're running in the 20s. 21 Smithfield, 25 Providence, 26 degrees in Newport. And we've dropped down to the upper 20s in New Bedford and in Westerly. And as the winds have picked up overnight, that's dropped those wind chill values down into the teens. And you can see in Smithfield, even single digits. Clouds have been clearing out. Our storm system from yesterday that brought the rainfall is going to be strengthening as it moves away. Next up is this little clipper that's going to be racing across the southern Great Lakes and tracking just two hours south. It looks like close enough to us to at least give us the risk of a little bit of light snow. This is one computer model's take on how it all unfolds. It's a fast moving system and they're small, so kind of notoriously hard to uh, track as they could shift just a little bit further south and it could be a complete miss for us. So here's the future cast and what we're thinking right now. So for the afternoon, mainly sunny skies. This evening is dry. Most of the night looking dry. This is 11 o'clock at night. Here's that little batch of snow that we're talking about trying to come over and clip just our coastline here. So five o'clock in the morning tomorrow around this time could be seeing some of that snow. It only lasts for a few hours and then it races out of here. We're back to sunshine in the afternoon on Thursday. If we get a closer look at it, kind of just pinpoint that time frame that we're expecting the snow. So here we are at five o'clock on Thursday morning. A little bit of snow near the coastline by 9 a.m. This is moving out, so highest risk of any small accumulations areas south of Providence. But this particular computer model even gives us a dusting up to Smithfield, close to a half an inch of Providence and around an inch of snow at the shore. Commuting into work this morning, you don't need to worry about any new snow falling, but it'll be cold and windy with some icy spots. Temperatures dropping another few degrees from where we are right now for the afternoon. Not much change at all and with those west winds gusting 40 to 50 miles per hour. Our wind chills again running in the teens and lower teens, even some single digits with temperatures near steady in the mid to upper 20s this afternoon. For the evening hours, we'll hold in the middle 20s, late night lows down to around 19, increasing clouds and that chance for some snow very late at night with a west wind diminishing about 5 to 15 miles per hour. Seven day future cast 28 today. 33 for tomorrow, 32 on Friday. Very cold stretch ahead for us. And again, best chance of snow tomorrow morning would be before 8 or 9 a.m. Then those temperatures running chilly in the afternoon. At least feel like temperature is Friday, not a big system, but we are looking at the potential for some evening and nighttime snow showers right now. Little to no accumulation. The weekend looks dry. All eyes on Sunday night and Monday. The next system could bring a mix of rain and snow. Full future cast.